Nigerians in diaspora join agitation against hardship and petition and petition to Nambu and plan protests in United Kingdom. The Unit Hope Vanguard and the petition signed by the coordinator, Mr. Dixon Ujema, said the CBN boss Caruso has misled the government to endorse very unrealistic and unattainable policies, especially floating of forex. Some Nigerians in diaspora under the Renewed Hope Vanguard base in the United Kingdom have condemned the hardship in the country and petitioned President Bola to remove the Central Bank Governor Yemi Karasu over the foreign exchange crisis. The UK group in the release sent to the Sahara reporters on Wednesday noted that it was embarrassing for the Nigerian government that the Naira continued to fall against other currencies, especially the dollar, worsening the plight of Nigerians. The group said it has slated the protest for Nigerians living in the UK on Wednesday, the 14th of February 2024, to press forward with a demand and submit a letter to the UK Parliament seeking the intervention to save Nigeria from hunger, starvation and hardship. The renewed hope vanguard in the petition signed by the coordinator, Mr. Dixon Ujima, said the CBN boss Caruso had misled the government to endorse very unrealistic and unattainable policies, especially the floating of forex. The group said, as concerned Nigerians and the diaspora, we are saddened by the Western economic situation in our dear country and the cruciating pain Nigerians have been enduring due to this unpop due to the unpopular kindergarten and infantile financial policies of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, under the leadership of Yemi Markel Caruso. It is embarrassing that the Naira had continued to fall against other currencies, especially the dollar, worsening the plight of Nigerians. Yemi Caruso misled Mr. President to endorse very unrealistic and unattainable policies, especially the floating of forex. Nigerians are heavily paying the price for this ineptitude with the Naira exchanging for as high as $1,500 for $1 on the official and parallel market. The only way out of this quigmire is to sack Yemi Karasu and replace him with a competent hand. It added, the total destruction of Inara and his stocking ability to manage inflation has resulted into a very high standard of living all over Nigeria. A bag of rice is now sold for seventy thousand. A bag of rice that was sold for seven thousand in twenty fourteen has now become seventy thousand or more. Nigerians are buying a bag of maize now at 60,000 naira, while a bag of beans is 110,000 naira. People's salaries can no longer feed them. Hunger has become widespread and unchecked. If Yemi Karuzo remains as the CBN governor, our economy will collapse. The group share said it shared the pains as well as frustration of Nigerians who are living in the homeland and issued a two-week ultimatum for the immediate sack of Yemi Karuzo else. They would lock down all the CBN branches and international airports in a murder of all protests. According to the letter, majority of Nigerians who can no longer afford basic needs are visibly angry and disappointed with the lackadaisical handling of the economy, especially the anti-human policies of the CBN. We share in their anger and frustration because we had confidence in this administration. The best way to stabilize the economy and end this hardship and uncertainty which is at the heart of rising insecurity in the country is to sack Yemi Karaso and appoint a financial technocrat. Mm -hmm. When you carry loyalty put for your competency good day. When you carry merit put for what we carry favoritism put for where favorite and uh, favoritism put for your merit good day. This is also what you're going to see. You put people you know instead of people who you know can solve the problem. There are two different things. I know this person. This person is loyal to me. I want to keep him close. And I know this person work. I don't know this person personally. But he has been recommended. He comes highly recommended. His work speaks for him. It is two different things. You don't pick people you know over people who are competent. If you do that, your administration is going to be work. This while and now way they see now, not small, not just... Hello, one, two, hello, one. Then they test microphone for you. Not just this particular um, CBN, uh, what's it called, uh, governor, but other people you know you have put in places that they're not supposed to be. People you know that these people don't want more share, you know in your heart of heart that these people does not know what, they don't know more more share, and you are leaving them there. For what exactly? 
سو سو پیپل وی دی فور ابراد سیف گو دوره مو سیدن گو جوین بیچ ای دون نو ایف ایز دی رایت این تو دو بیکوز دن دی فور نوڈا پیسن لند یو انسان I don't know whenever they say they'll protest abroad. I don't know. I don't know the feeling I have about it. It's not. I'm not sure. You think that the one with the for Nigeria here. We want Nigerians to turn based on another version, another Buhari version, but some of them ignored us. Today he started showing his true colors. We may cry, protest, and shut ourselves down. The government can only try its best to solve our problem. That is why it is dear. Understanding is that government of today is the cause of our plight in this country. We should sincerely look at how we got here from the previous regimes and address our issues with sincerity. Sentimentality, sentimentality cannot help anyone. Ah, yes, I love this. Apart from us blaming and blaming the government, we should also look back. What did we do wrong? It is high time we go to a retreat. We will go back and look at, you know, trace back. Okay, once upon a time, we bought rice. In this news, we bought rice for 7,000. Even me, I never even see. It has gone 10 times. Between 2014 and now, it's just 10 years. And the price is just like with every year it gets worse. That's what it means. 2014, we are in 2024. We were buying a bag of rice for 7,000, 7,000 plus. Eh? That time, beans was not even, what am I saying? Beans was between 30,000 30, and 35,000. Now, it is now 110,000 for a bag of beans. It is now, now 110,000 for a bag of beans. Should I talk about other things? Should I talk about cost of living? Should I talk about school? <laughs> Tunumbi is doing it well everywhere. Let him breathe. He has turned Nigeria upside down to the admiration of the Southwest and not that voted him massively. If the Easterners don't protest, it means no one has the right to protest anywhere. Tom. I am in support of all the policies of the government, including the ones that are yet to be made. I am enjoying this government. In fact, four should be 1,100. I wonder. Us. I wonder us about this thing. I saw it coming. I said it then that if everybody, if you refuse to do the right thing, the right thing will find you in a come. And when you go find in a come, you know go find, you know go just want the right thing in a go do one, but you go see she give another before in a see and do. So her reporter, she showed the video of those protesting in diaspora. They said they would protest, not they have protest. They said they would protest on the 14th of February. Okay. Nobody should protest to fact, the Nigerian government should send the army and police to arrest them. We are enjoying Jagaban and he's doing well for Nigeria. Everything is now cheap in the market. So why protesting? Don't you dare try that. Another sarcasm. Behind the sarcasm is it's hitting a lot of a lot of disappointment and pain of what if what if you had done the right thing? Nigeria would have been a better place for us all. Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for Tune in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.